Good morning, Craig Howard here. <laughs> here comes Peanut. <laughs> yeah, Peanut. I'm not in my normal places, am I? I know. I know. <laughs> anyway, um, I was reading something this morning that I found fascinating. Um, <clears throat> there is a town in Germany that the city uh, who runs the landfill, the local landfill, have started this process. It started with just one employee. And uh, they, they take things that are thrown in the landfill and they take them back to a warehouse, which now supports like 70 employees. And it's something like, um, I forget, there's, there's, a couple of, there's a couple of warehouses now. But anyhow, it takes these things back to warehouse and this group of employees, many of which have uh, skilled, uh, skilled training in furniture repair, skilled training in carpentry, even skilled training in electronics. Um, they take these things back, anything from laptops to countertops to furniture to whatever. They take even teddy bears. They take them back. They clean them up. They... Uh, refurbish them if need be, and then they put them up for sale to the general public at a cheap price. Um, the laptops come with a one-year warranty, you know, that, that they refurbish. Um, countertops that just somebody decided to remodel their kitchen and upgrade their countertops, but their old countertops were still good, uh, just maybe not the most recent quartz countertops or whatever, you know, granite countertops. So anyhow, they take these things and they refurbish them and they put them up and, and they're selling between what started out as just a small project now sells between $300,000 and $500,000 worth of product a year that's been refurbished and reused instead of just going into a landfill and filling up a landfill. It made me think about how God has sort of refurbished us. Um, you know, we were once sort of cast off by sin. We were due for the scrap pile. And God saw us and he said, no, I'm not done with them yet. I'm not finished for, with what I can do with them. And I think we can do more. And God took us when we gave our life to Jesus and he renewed us. He refurbished us. He made us new again. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18, Come now, let us settle the matter, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall be like wool. You know, society has a way of kind of casting people off to the side and saying that person isn't worth my time. That person isn't good enough, or that person doesn't see things the way I see them, or whatever. Society has a way of just throwing people away. I'm so glad that's not the way God does things. And it shouldn't be the way we do things. It shouldn't be the way Christians operate. There's nobody that's not redeemable. Um, there are some people that are going to take a lot of redeeming, <laughs> but there's nobody that's not redeemable. And we need to look around and see who we can reach out to with the love of God and let God, the expert, take that person back to his holy warehouse and make them new as we share God's love with them. I like that. I hope you do too. And I hope you have a wonderful week, a great day today. Mom, if you're watching, I love you. God bless.